Hey everybody, this is Rick Terry, Maine Real Estate Guide. I'm on location in Forest City, Maine. It's now lake season here in Maine. It's uh, mid-May. Uh, snow is pretty much all gone, and, and at this elevation anyway, there's Mount Katahdin is still snow covered, but uh, well, that's a mile high. So, but that's it's it's melting fast. Well, we're going to tour today as we're back at 2464 Forest City Road, uh, this beautiful lake house that you can see behind me in the background. We're going to uh, take, a, take a pretty close inspection of the interior of the property, the exterior of the property, and the surrounding areas. So let's, uh, let's get started and uh, take, a, take a view of the inside of the 1,616 plus or minus square foot, two-bedroom, two-bath, beautiful lakefront home here in Forest City, Maine. So as we cross this paved public way, you can see that this is a high traffic area. So I'm meandering quite slowly across the road and there's no crosswalk and I'm not a bit worried about being st stricken by <laughs> some high-speed motorist. This is a peaceful little community for a city. Year-round residents here, about 12. Uh, seasonal residents in the summertime, probably, uh, well, let's say the population triples. <laughs> so we're talking 40 or 50 people here uh, in the summertime. So it's uh, if you're looking for a peaceful location and a beautiful home on a pristine lake, East Grand, you want to really examine 2464 Forest City Road. <clears throat> the home has an attached one car garage, as you can see, I'm standing on a paved driveway. You get some beautiful stonework leading up to the, to the front door with some bulbs that uh, spring is coming. So uh, the tulips are up and, uh, and oh, and I see the bleeding hearts are, starting to, to flower. Everything is looking, looking very nice. So let's head up the stairs and head inside. So as we enter the home, we enter into what would be the office area. The home does benefit from, from a uh, home office. It is the whole the house has been uh, a lot of recent updates, and we'll talk uh, talk about uh, all the things that have happened here. What you see before you is a beautiful built-in piece of furniture. Uh, it's a Cherry Murphy bed that was handcrafted by the seller of the this home. It's a red cedar, and I I just love the warmth of uh, wood furniture, wood flooring. It's just it's just comforting. The office has maple flooring. And it, and it's beautiful. It's uh, perfectly finished, just exquisite. The home benefits from high-speed internet. Uh, there is a border crossing literally three minutes from here, uh, from uh, the United States into Canada, and I'm, I'm pretty sure that's why there's high-speed internet in such a rural location here in Maine. But uh, take advantage of it. If you, uh, if you need, need high-speed internet because you, you work from home or you need to telecommute, from time to time, it's available right here. I'm gonna take a tour of the, the bedroom area and the sleeping portion of the, of the home. To my right here is a full bath, a stand-up shower, vanity, and this has linoleum flooring. The interior doors and trim of the house have all been updated. Uh, these doors are, are unfinished at this point. Maple flooring continues down the hallway. We'll go into the guest bedroom. The guest bedroom and the master uh, suite both have wide plank pine flooring that was custom milled at uh, in, in Vermont and trucked here and, and laid. So it's beautiful pine plank flooring. You can see the hot water baseboard heat here in this bedroom. There are multiple zones uh, throughout the home, uh, so you can, year round, you can be comfortable here. So we'll head into the master or the primary bedroom. Very spacious, lots of natural light, 
Got a beautiful view of the lake from this window here. And there's East Grand. We'll get it. We'll take a closer look of at the lake here in a bit. Lots of closet space. And a full bath. So let's head over to the kitchen. The kitchen was recently renovated, completely redone. It's got granite counters, tile flooring, custom cabinets, new appliances. It's exquisite. Beneath the tile, there is radiant heat. So you'll have, if you're in here in the kitchen on a cooler morning, it's nice and toasty warm on your feet. But look at this beautiful granite on the island. Lots of storage and everything is soft touch, gas range, more of that beautiful granite pantry closet. Off of the kitchen in a sunken living room. It's very, what a comfortable place to sit and relax. Brick fireplace. And off of the living room is the dining room that's surrounded by glass. When you come to the lake, you want to see it. There it is. Let's take a closer look here. What a great place to gather with, with friends, play some card games, tell some stories about the, the one that got away or the one that you boated. Now let's take a, a view of the kitchen from the living room area. Just beautiful. Head down this hallway to the to the garage. So you have a garage with direct entry into the living space. But in this closet is uh, the laundry. And then we'll head into the garage. So one car garage does have storage above. You've got a few things to tuck away. It's got a 200 amp service here. It does have a whole house generator that's all wired. You can see the, the transfer switch right next to the, to the main. So a very secure location. If there was a storm and took down the power lines for a while, you'd be, be fine. One of my favorite features of the, of the home is uh, you have storage underneath for the garage door. So you can store your toys, ATVs, or your boat even could be stored down here. So let's take a look. Hardwood floors, stairs going down, all freshly done. Lots of storage was built down here. So you get lots of shelving. You get a Modine heater to heat this space. You can hear the hot water baseboard furnace running. Again, multiple zones. There's fuel storage for the furnace. And here's your access to the outside. So what a convenient place to store your boat when you're not here or store your kayaks and canoe out of sight, safe, yet easily accessible. So let's head outside and take a look at the exterior of this home. There's been a lot of updates out there as well, it's freshly painted, it's got a new roof, uh, lots of landscaping been, been done. So we're back at the exterior of the home. Paved driveway, we'll take a walk right down this busy street <laughs> to the other driveway that goes towards the lake as, as well as the uh, garage be below the home. So East Grand Lake and Spednick collectively are 33,000 acres in size. So that's a lot of water to explore. Uh, around East Grand and especially Spednick Lake, there's a tremendous amount of conservation ground that has been set aside for, so there's no development. Um, so this area is gonna remain as you see it today. So if you're looking for a quiet, place to live a life unharried by sirens and hubbub you know maybe maybe i'm talking to you it's nearly eight o'clock in the morning and that's the only sound is 
the chirping of the birds. This is just heaven on earth. So how do you find such a place? Well, you might have to take a little bit of a drive. Forest City is on the main New Brunswick border uh, in Washington County, Maine. And from the Boston marketplace, it's about a six hour drive. But the people that choose to come here experience life that you won't find in other more developed parts of, of, of Maine or, or New England. This is, this is a place where, you know, every day is an adventure and it's just serene. So here at the back of the home, you see it's brick and wood. The wood is freshly painted. The home sits about 50 feet above the level of the lake. So <clears throat> you're in no danger of, of flooding here. I've had a few phone calls about uh, global warming and the sea levels rising. Well, if, if you know, we're, we're at an elevation, the lake itself is at an elevation of a 460 feet above sea level. And this house is about 50 feet above that. So if it floods here, because the sea levels have risen, well, Martha's Vineyard is on, long since underwater. And uh, I, I, I think we're safe. So, but here's the septic uh, tank for the home. The home has private well and septic system. The tank is here. This was your access to, to pump it out from time to time. The leach field is down here before me. It's this raised area in the back lawn. And this has great, just great frontage. I mean, uh, I, I've sold a lot of lakefront properties and some, some have had very, very steep, rocky frontage that uh, you have to be half billy goat in order to access the water. Here, it's just an, a, 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 a nice gradual s slope down to the, to the lake shore. We'll take a little gander up towards the home from, from here. From Forest City, it's about 24 miles to Danforth. Danforth uh, has hardware stores, grocery stores. Um, you can get gasoline there. Um, there is a smaller store about 12 miles away where you can, you know, get some milk or a uh, six pack of beer, or some potato chips, hamburger, hot dogs, those sorts of things. But Danforth probably would be where you would go do some shopping. If you needed more supplies, Holton would be your service center area from here. Um, Holton has a, a hospital. It's got uh, a, a vibrant business district. It's got a Walmart and uh, larger grocery stores and building supplies and whatnot. So Holton would be your service center. The frontage does, is, does have a nice sandy swimming area that gradually goes into deep water. <clears throat> so if you have young, young children that are learning to swim or splash about, you know, they're not going to step off the, off the water directly over their head. It's just the nice gradual uh, decline into uh, to deeper water. This area is largely, largely sand and some small pebbles. Just a beautiful, beautiful freshwater swimming area. So I just drove down uh, this road here, which is called Spednik Road, to the public boat launch on Spednik Lake. So from 2464 Forest City Road, you could trailer your boat. From there, if you didn't want to fish East Grand and you wanted to fish Spednik, you could, it's about a mile, maybe a little better, to this nice launch area onto Spednik. That opposite shore, that's Canada. Spednik Lake is one of the least populated or least developed lakes, lakes in, in Maine. There are just a handful of cottages uh, along its shore and vast swaths of acreage that are uh, conserved. So lots of conservation ground, uh, both on, uh, especially uh, the Canadian side, uh, that's largely a nature preserve over there. And over here, there's uh, uh, tens of thousands of acres of uh, unspoiled uh, wilderness as well. Uh, so Spednik is uh, one of um, 
one of New England's premier uh, bass fisheries. It does also have landlocked salmon in it. Um, so uh, you could catch landlocked salmon here, smallmouth bass. Um, you could have uh, just a just a you know a great great adventure. So uh, you know fishermen from all over the world come here um, to uh, ply the waters, looking for a trophy bass, and you have it right next door to twenty four sixty four. Forest City Road. So if you're looking for a change of life, a place that you can unplug, you can recharge your batteries, you don't need to be three hours back in the woods on a gravel road with no utilities to find that sense of peace and tranquility. You can come to Forest City, Maine here on the main Canadian border and uh, have year-round access on a paved public way and still have the peace and privacy and serenity that, that you're, you're searching for. I get many, many phone calls. I want to live off grid. I want to place, you know, back, you know, three hours in, in the main woods. And you know, there's a lot of romanticism about that, and uh, and I can and I can understand that, and I sell a fair amount of properties that are in that in that sort of situation, but there's also a degree of impracticality about trying to trying to do that uh, if you have no experience in uh, in that sort of lifestyle. Uh, you know, who's going to take care of that three hours worth of road so that you can get out in the wintertime? Uh, you are, uh, you know. So, um, the, if you're searching for this home in that setting, uh, that's, that's impractical, and it's, you're not going to find it. But this home in this setting, uh, with the convenience and access that it, that it has, uh, is, is just, just, just wonderful. Uh, so 1,600 and 16 plus or minus square feet of finished living space, two bedrooms, two baths, all renovated ready for you on 1.4 acres with great frontage here on East Grand Lake for $459,000. So give Rick Terrio, your main real estate guy, to call at area code 207-731-9902 and let's arrange a personal viewing of this exquisite property. Call soon.